Good morning, this is a screencast about breadcrumbs and what I'd like to describe here is a situation where I'm using the dawn theme for my website. I'm using short form URLs, but I've got a product that appears in two categories. Here, if I go into one of my categories tripods, you'll see there's a, uh, a light in here called Studio Chrome Floor Light. Uh, if I go back into photography and I also go into lighting equipment, that same Chrome tripod appears in there as well. So single product in two collections. If I click on this product, you'll notice that I'm using the short form URL here. So it's just showing uh, the URL that I've set and it's showing up in one of those collections. It's showing up in, in lighting equipment. If I go back into my admin here, and I do a search uh, in here to find that Chrome tripod. There it is, and I open it up. What we can see is that this product is set up in two collections. And that means that potentially, the breadcrumb that shows by default might not be the breadcrumb that I want. Now, category breadcrumbs here is trying its best to make a decision about which one to show. Um, this list is presented by Shopify, it's an unordered list. Uh, these short form URLs are created by themes, they're not created by my app. And so what we're dealing with here is a set of constraints. If these were long form URLs, we wouldn't have this problem and some themes do produce those long form URLs. Please have a look at my other screencast that talks a little bit about um, default collection handles and, uh, and goes into detail about how long form URLs and short form URLs work. Um, but in this one, I want to focus on the new, a new solution, which just makes this all a little bit easier. So the goal here is to be able to set this. And uh, we've got a couple of mechanisms by which that can be done. If I go back into the back end and I go into the online store and edit my theme, I'm going to show that I'm using Dawn here. I click customize on Dawn. I bring up the default product page because these are breadcrumbs that are appearing on products. And I can click on category breadcrumbs and I can select the method by which we arrive at this um, breadcrumb when it's not obvious. So when using short form URLs, product templates only, um, the uh, app has to disambiguate or guess which one of the collections to show this product in. What I've got selected so far is show first possible breadcrumb. And that means that of the list that Shopify produces uh, here, uh, it will give me the first one. Now that's not necessarily the same order as in here. Shopify is a bit of a mystery on this one, but it does um, tend to be the most recent one. And I know that in 90% of situations across my store, that first guess is gonna be absolutely fine. What we're doing here though is giving you as store owners the freedom to change that for some products if you want to have more control over it. Now you could change it by altering this. So you could show the last possible breadcrumb and that will show a, a different option. Or you could show a generic breadcrumb, which means that these are all the same. Now I don't like that very much. I like a category breadcrumb to show my categories. So um, I'm going to stick with first possible breadcrumb but, and for this Blu-ray player, it's absolutely fine. The problem only comes for my Studio Chrome floor light, and this is the one I want to change. To change it, I'm gonna set up a meta field. So if I go now into my admin again, I go to settings, I'm going down to custom data here on the left-hand side, and I wanna set this meta field on products. You'll notice already there is a single metal meta field set up. This is from my previous screencast. Please have a look at that if you're interested, link in the description. Um, but this new way of doing it is a little bit more straightforward and a little bit more intuitive. So I'm gonna add a definition here and create a new product meta field definition. The product meta field is gonna be called default collection reference. It's critical that it's spelt exactly like this so that Shopify knows to look for it. So please get your capitalization exactly right, please get your spacing exactly right, and please get the spelling exactly right. If you set up a default collection reference meta field, then your namespace will look like this, custom dot default underscore collection underscore reference. I'm gonna give this a little description to say, 
for specifying breadcrumbs on selected products. And the next thing is I need to set the type of meta field that I'm adding. So I select type. It's not a single line text field like the default collection handle was. Instead, I'm going down here to find in the reference section, collection. This is because it's going on a product page and referring to a collection, the default collection that I want to be displayed when this uh, product is, uh, is shown in the storefront. I select collection, it's one collection and not a list of collections, and I click save. Now at this point, that's all set up. So if I go back into my products, if I find that Chrome Studio light again, I click on the Chrome Studio light. Now, when I scroll down to the bottom, I can see that I've got a default collection reference meta field. Please ignore the collection handle. It's not used in this screencast. That's from another screencast previously. It's the default collection reference we've just set up. And if I click on that, it allows me to select a collection. Now, the important thing here is that I'm selecting a collection that is one of the collections this product is in. So rule number one, the product has to be in the collection. Rule number two, the collection has to be part of my category hierarchy. And that category hierarchy will look a little something like this. Um, and it's set up in the app. And hopefully you're all familiar with that already as part of the setup process for category breadcrumbs uh, or the breadcrumbs in categories uncomplicated. I have a light here that's currently set up in lighting equipment. What I want to do is change that so that it's going to appear in tripods. So I select the tripods collection. I click save. And now when I go to the front page again and refresh it, it appears in tripods. So what we've done here was very simple. It was a process of setting up a meta field and then configuring that meta field on a specific product to control which of the multiple collections this product should appear in by default. I can easily change that. I can uh, change it, for example, back to lighting equipment. And if I select lighting equipment, uh, it will do as it did before, it'll put it in lighting equipment. There's not much point doing that because uh, I don't have to select anything, anything here because by default it's choosing lighting equipment. So if I go back in here and refresh, you'll see it's still lighting equipment. This is useful for situations where the guess, based on this list that Shopify produces, nothing to do with my app, just this list that Shopify produces, which we're taking the first of, based on the guess, if it isn't quite right, I can change it for a specific product by creating this default collection reference meta field, selecting it, selecting collection, picking the collection that I want it to be appearing by default and clicking save. Now, when I refresh this, you can see that it's showing up in tripods and that's it folks. So thanks very much for watching. I hope that's been useful. Um, please, by all means, um, leave a comment if you'd like um, to comment on this. If you want support with your site, please don't do it in the comments. Instead, please click get support in the app um, on the uh, Shopify store app page. There's a, uh, a link there for getting support directly. It's the best way of getting in touch with me because it gives me the information about your store and can help me help you more quickly. So if you need support, click get support. Otherwise, thanks very much for your attention.